We have an interview right now with Marcelo Molero. Marcelo? Hey, how are you today? Doing very well. How are you? I'm doing very, very good. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you, and thank you for your patience. I know you have a class coming up here in a few minutes, but you, would you like to tell everybody your school down south? Yeah, my school is located in Dania Beach. Uh, it's an Avignon camp. Uh, everybody knows an Avignon is one of the biggest camps in the whole world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have uh, awesome MMA fighters like Thales Leites, Vitor Shaolin, Jose Aldo, you know, and I'm glad to represent all the, this team here in Dania Beach. Uh, Dania Beach is located in between uh, Hollywood and Fort Lauderdale, right on the U.S. one. And your your website? My website is uh, com or mmbjj.com. And tell us a little bit about your background. And, and I know you're a black belt. Not everybody else out there knows that right now, but... You're a black belt, and whom under, and how long have you been training for and studying BJJ? Well, I've been studying BJJ since I'm 10 years old. I started in judo when I was 4 years old. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I'm a black belt under Andre Pedernetas, the co-founder of the Nau uh-huh. I've been training with him, with him for over 20 years now. Wow. And, uh, yeah, so it's been a, a while, and, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's about it. Do you have any tournaments or any events coming up with your students or yourself that you'll be competing in? Well, my students are always competing here in South Florida. We are we got second place overall in uh, last Naga on Nogi, which was a really huge accomplishment for us. And uh, I have uh, like a uh, really good kids uh, fighting under me. Mm. I got uh, I'm I'm training myself though. I'm uh, being Starting to get more busy and going to tournaments, and here and there, you know, stuff to manage in the school, and at the same time train myself. But uh, I try to uh, get busy and uh, motivate my students to see me competing in all of this. I'm uh, right now. I'm uh, training to the Pan Am's Nogi in New York in October. In October, will you be competing in the International Open as well in Miami? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll we, see you uh, there then. Yeah, we got, last year we competed and I had like a few uh, uh, champions under me. I got third myself. I Congratulations. Got a, oh, thank you. Because that's a very big tournament, so that's very, you did great, you placed third there. Yeah, it's a, it's a w- very well-known tournament and I'm glad they come here at least once a year right. to uh, promote this big tournament. And I saw that on your website that one of your quotes that you use, actually I think it was in your blog, was the secret of success is learning how to use pain and pleasure instead of pain and pleasure using you. And yep. where did you, you, did you come up with that yourself? Yeah, you I did. did. I like yeah. that. That's fun. It also continues into if you do not, wait, what's the rest of it? If you do that, you're in control of your life. And if you don't, life controls you. Yes, pretty much. Nice. I like that. Yeah, try, yeah I try to. Uh, I try to teach, teach my students the, which is the most important for me uh, about Beijing Jiu Jitsu, which is uh, the the friends you make, you know, in, uh, in the whole in your life uh, training Jiu Jitsu. You know, it's a uh, you make friends for a lifetime, and that's why I try to uh, teach my kids, especially my kids, mm-hmm. that it's not about, all about going tournaments and winning. It's about making friends for life. So I, yeah, I'm uh, fortunate that I have most of my friends I met on jiu-jitsu, no matter if they are the same camp or not, you know, you always see each other, you know, you always support each other. In the circuit of jiu-jitsu, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a about lifestyle, you know, it's jiu-jitsu big lifestyle, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, I can pass that to my students nice. and the people around me. Well, I like to hear that, it's very positive. Are there any anything else you want to say? Any sponsors that you want to thank, or anybody that you would like to acknowledge? Well, uh, I'd like to thank um, uh, the CrossFit ATP, which is uh, the well, the gym. My my school is located at the uh, inside of the gym, which is a CrossFit facility, and which one's the best on South Florida, and uh, they support me the whole way. And I want to thank them for delivering my work, believing on me and stay aside me all the time, you know, yeah. bad times, good times, and they always are uh, with me. And uh, all my students, 
all the, my friends that support me and stay with me together, you know, believing me and supporting me in the bad, in the, in the good times. It's uh, it's been a, uh, we only, I'm only here for about two and a half years, and I, I learned a lot in just two and a half years away from home and everything. And those people make me stay, and those people are the reason that I'm staying here. So thank, thank you, all my friends, all my students, and uh, Juan Baca. With, uh, this opportunity. Well, thank you for being on our show and sharing your school and sharing your information with us. We appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Well, have I really a, appreciate it. All right. Talk to you later. Have a good day.